Hey there, hi there, ho there, and hello. Welcome back to Mike's Hard Reviews. My name is Mike. I am a bartender from the Kalamazoo area. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better, if you can't tell, so I am willing to be a little bit more verbose. Um, today, we're looking at another one of the two uh, St. Patrick's Day specials that I will be using at this Friday's upcoming event, where I am revitalizing my bartending career, which is really exciting for me. I came up with, essentially, two specials, a Sour and a Collins, and both of them, I may have mentioned this last time, were themed around the idea of melon. Melon and green melon being the primary <laughs> dominant thing. Today we're gonna continue uh, showing off the specials and kind of finish up the specials because tonight, the day that you're watching this, I will be busy serving them. Uh, we're gonna make what I call a Cliffs of Dover, which is essentially a honeydew melon Tom Collins. I mean, there's not much else to say, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm looking for, for, for shit to bring up and talk about. I, I ain't got nothing, man. <laughs> Start us off, we're gonna go ahead and begin with our syrup component. This is an Arjo. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, just a small pour of this. It's gonna be half an ounce. Next up, we're gonna do a quarter ounce, just a quarter ounce of Midori melon liqueur. Uh, now that might seem like a really, really small amount, uh, but there's a reason for it. Um, we're using actual melon juice in this as well. This is just to provide a sort of concentrated backbone for that. So it's a bit more pronounced in the final product. Next up, we're gonna need three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Anyway, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Next up, we're going to need two full ounces of our honeydew melon juice. I made this in the high tide video, but I'll say it again here. This is just uh, honeydew melon, the entire flesh of a honeydew melon. Um, covered with water in a blender. Uh, so it's about two cups, no, sorry, excuse me, yeah, no. It's the entire flesh of a honeydew melon with two cups of water blended uh, and then passed through a sieve into a sterile bottle. Then to finish this off, I'm just gonna need one of, oh, oh Jesus. Oh, there's orgeau all over the place, oh fuck. I grabbed the fucking neck of the bottle and my hand was just, ugh, gross. Anyway, one and a half ounces of a good, robust gin. I drink Bombay Sapphire as like my good gin. We're gonna go ahead and uh, add some ice to this shake to chill and dilute. Dilute? <laughs> dilute. <laughs> to chill and dilute and then we will um, serve it in, over ice with soda in a Collins glass. We're gonna go one hole, one cracked as always. We'll put the cap on, tap that down, and give it a shake for 12 to 15 seconds to chill and dilute. We got that done. We'll go ahead and pull up a Collins glass here. I got these really nice Collins glasses from Bed Bath & Beyond uh, because they're going out of business and they were really, really cheap. I know what I like and what I like is a good deal. <laughs> I cracked uh, a large cube of ice in here. Um, just into larger bits is fine. You don't need to like really pulverize it. We're not going for like crushed ice here. We just need enough broken down to sort of fill up the glass halfway. You can see some cold soda water. We're gonna pour this down into the bottom of the glass. Just sort of get everything started with our effervescence. To get that started, we're gonna go ahead and pour our cocktail on over it. I'm gonna strain it just to catch any pulps from the lemon or melon. And to finish this off, we're gonna go ahead and garnish it with a wheel of lime. This lime in particular is a, well, still good, but a little old, so. <laughs> Pardon the off color, but it will get the job done. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a Cliffs of Dover. Okay, so we've cleaned up our station a little bit here. It's time to go ahead and give the cocktail a taste. I'm gonna just kind of give this some vertical mixing with my straw here and go ahead and give it a sip. Oh, haha, <laughs> yes, yes, ah, that's so fascinating. I love that so much. Not to do my own horn. I did a good thing though. <laughs> so it's really light. That's the cool thing about working with the Collins platform is that inherently it's going to be a lot lighter than other cocktails like Old Fashions or even mar some margaritas based on the way they're built can be kind of heavy. This one, despite using Orgeau, which I think is a very, you know, strong, bold, rich flavor, is not overbearing and still has body without being so heavy. It's really, really light on the palate and interesting. And it's almost like, like a cloud in a way. There's a sort of aerosolized nature to it. On the sip, you get this really dominant melon flavor. And that's coming mainly from the melon juice itself. But you can tell 
based on the combination, like the synthesis of flavors, that that little bit of Midori that we're adding, taking it to 11 and really sort of generalizing the flavor profile of what melon is in this cocktail. It's, it's like melon plus, <laughs> the idea of melon plus. It's tasty. And the combination of that with the lime juice gives it this sort of balanced gentleness that isn't as tart as a Tom Collins, but is presenting with a similar strength. Like that, like that essence of it being full bodied is there and that's the important part. And there's part of it mixed you know, with the combo of that, those gin botanicals and the citrus and the orjo and the, probably the Midori specifically, I'm getting a kind of green apple note on it. It's almost Jolly Rancher like, but not sickly sweet like a Jolly Rancher. This doesn't taste like candy in a glass. It, that kind of note comes out of it though, which I think is really fascinating actually. And something that I don't think I was initially looking for, but is really, really nice to find in here. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mike's Hard Reviews with our second and frankly, a little bit more uh, green color accurate um, St. Patrick's Day special. Um, hopefully you guys have a chance to try it. And if you do, please let me know what you think about it. I'm, I'm really fascinated with what opinions people have in particular about the cocktails that I come up with because I can't make things in an echo chamber. They are gonna end up sucking if I do that. So please make it at home. Give me, you know, give me some feedback. See what you thought, what you like, what you don't like. I'm, I'm fully invested and interested in what you have to say. Um, go ahead and follow me on my socials, Instagram and Tumblr. I'm not using them a lot lately, but I'm trying to get back into it. It's just, I don't have time during the day usually to do so. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. Have a fun, safe, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully you guys get out there and have some fun and have a chance to wear some green and kiss some Irish people and get absolutely blasted on Jameson Irish whiskey and Guinness. That's my intention anyway, at least after I get off work doing the bartending thing. <laughs> thanks again for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Remember to drink responsibly. And thanks again. See you around. Bye-bye.